Welcome. My name is Brian Woods. I am music director here at the World Chess Hall of Fame, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to this once again packed concert here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. We are happy to have you. This is, of course, all due to the generosity of Dr. Jeannie and Rex Singfield, who make all things possible here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. I also want to thank our special sponsor tonight, Ms. Mary Pillsbury, who makes so many things in the arts here possible in St. Louis, namely this concert. We're also grateful to the Regional Arts Commission and the Missouri Arts Council for their support. Do check out the rest of our exhibits that are going on here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Sound Moves is downstairs all about chess and music. You can see things from a chess set from Arnold Scharnberg to costumes from Katy Perry concerts. So lots to see. And we also have an exhibit on the second floor, um, a game of chess honoring T.S. Eliot. So do check those exhibits out. I also would encourage folks next week to check out, we have a bit of an unusual thing. We have uh, two weeks in a row of concerts here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Next week, November 2nd, I will be performing with the new assistant concertmaster at the St. Louis Symphony, Hannah G. We will be performing a program called Prokofiev versus Oistrakh, all about their 1937 chess match and the music that surrounded that very dramatic chess match. So, without further ado, I am very pleased to welcome tonight's performers. Please join me in welcoming from Winter Opera St. Louis, Gina Galati, Isaac Hurtado, Robert Mellon, and Sandra Gary. Oh, 
stessa bellezza insieme confonde. So she goes to her neighbor and asks for a candle, to someone to light her candle. And of course, she meets the tenor and they fall in love instantaneously. And so during this aria, she talks about what she does in her life. She's a seamstress. Actually, she embroiders. And she talks about how she goes to church, and, or she doesn't go to church, but she's very, very, uh, she prays every day. And she loves to see the beautiful sunrise and she talks about how, um, you know, but the flowers, all the flowers she surrounds herself with, they have no, no smell. They're not real. So she has a little bit of a sad uh, outlook on life in a way, but she loves the simple things. So this is Mi Chiamo No Mimi. <laughs>
vicina che la vien fuori d'ora importunare. Lucifer 
here are going to sing the most beautiful duet ever, and they sound amazing. And thank you so much, both of you, for coming and singing with me this evening in Winter Opera St. Louis. And thank you, Mary Pillsbury, for sponsoring this. Oh, Mr. Zingfield, thank you for everything. We really appreciate your support and your patronage. We hope to see you at Don Giovanni in November. Get your tickets, they're selling fast. <laughs> so um, the gentlemen are going to sing this wonderful Pearl Fishers duet. So enjoy. This is the ultimate bro duet. Uh, these two best friends were, uh, they both found themselves in love with the same princess, and it almost brought them to, to blows, but they, in the end, have decided to mend their, their ways as they recall the first time that they saw her crossing the plaza, and they both fell in love. What did she pick at the end? The tenor, of course. The tenor, right. The tenor. <laughs> Thank you. 